My name is Michael Simmons. I am the Teen Council and Public Programs Coordinator here at CAM. My main role is to work with our Teen Council, which is a group of uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 Houston area teenagers that are interested in contemporary art. They organize and curate exhibitions that we give the same attention as all of our other exhibitions. They go to artist studios and also put on programs here in the museum to engage their peer group. They come in with all of their own interests and passions and they really just have no idea about what it means to work in a group, especially in this kind of context. I'm Matthew Wadowich. I have been on Teen Council for two years now, and I first began um, Teen Council after being accepted to the Teen Council show from the margins. Since then, it's just been um, fascinating, and my mind has been exposed to so many new things that I had never pictured before, and I had never known about the art world. And working uh, to organize these many events that Teen Council does has been really interesting um, because I've gotten a chance to see how much work actually goes into all of these programs and we've had to work as Teen Council simultaneously on organizing the show but then also on collaborating on a fashion show, making a music fest, managing different public programs and hosting them and so having to do all of those things at the same time has been really challenging but also very rewarding because with each new task comes um, new learning experiences and comes a new perspective that we can take on how we host it. My name is Felice Cleveland and I'm the Education and Public Programs Director at the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston. I really view my role as thinking about different ways that we can engage everybody. The art historian to the complete contemporary art novice. With public programs, we are really at an advantage because somebody might come here because they are interested in music or interested in science or interested in poetry and they'll come to an event because of that and then they'll get to discover the work at the same time. To me, it's so important that we continue the conversation after the opening and really approach the work from a lot of different angles and think about the ideas that the artist is putting out into the world. I met with teen, the Teen Council and I talked with them about public programs and really encouraged them to think um, more holistically and why we create a program and when they're thinking and brainstorming about a program, who they want to come, who their audience is, what specifically they want people to think about when they're creating that program, and how they get the word out. The Teen Council did such a great job this year, both in their exhibition and then this was mirrored in their programs, was really thinking um, interdisciplinarily um, about how they could approach this. My name is Jessie Anderson. I am the Tour Programs Coordinator at the museum and my primary roles include um, training and scheduling the FAQ team, our um, tour guides and teaching artists, as well as developing our workshops and some of the other hands-on programs in conjunction with an exhibition. And connecting it back to people's everyday lives and experiences in a way that provides insight into what the artist is doing and how they're sort of engaging with the material. The Teen Council Show is a really wonderful opportunity to do this, especially with kids, because it relates directly to the experiences that they're having right now. They have incredible insight into the artwork and um, are really excited in many ways to see their perspectives validated by a museum show. In terms of working with the Teen Council, I um, sort of helped them think about what sort of hands-on activities would um, add to the experience of viewing the show and um, help you investigate further the ideas of identity and how identity is formed in different contexts. I'm Angela Liu. Last year I was just visiting the CAM. There was actually someone else here from my school that I knew and we just struck up a conversation. From them I found out that there's a program here for teens. 
I'd always been looking for something like that just to get more involved in the arts, but I'd never really like had a way for myself to get involved in actually like curating art shows and like appreciating art. It was more so just my personal, like for my personal enjoyment. Coming here and just being really a part of this very diverse community and really diverse group, I've met so many different people. Um, I remember the first meeting I was relatively quiet, I didn't really say much, but I could just tell how much everyone loved art in the group. And it's really opened me up as a person and helped me become more worldly and more accepting of, or I would say not accepting, but more open-minded to different types of art. It's really nice to show them that the stuff that we make happen, we're just a group of people that want to get art out into the world and have the community come and see it. And watching them transform from like, how do we do this to like, oh, it just, everything starts as an idea and then it goes into brainstorming and then it goes into implementing the idea and pulling off the idea. And then at the end of the day, it's like, we just had a really awesome fashion show or, you know, and it just started with, hey, why don't we, why don't we try that? So I think it's, really exciting to watch things grow organically and for them to learn really what's out there and available to them to pursue.